Welcome back to channel Tech and Art. Hope you guys doing good. So today we are going to learn in this video how to take ad hoc backup through the maintenance plan wizard. Okay. So before starting this session, I would request to each and everyone whoever newly joined, please like, do subscribe, and don't forget to share with others. Please visit the channel playlist SQL Server DBA. You will get 290 videos. Uh, all are real based scenario. Okay. If you are getting help, please like, do subscribe, and share to others. Once uh, let me connect the SQL Server SMS. So this is my instance. So requirement is very clear. Uh, the developer ask you to you know share the particular few databases backup very very quickly because they need the testing. Okay. So let's assume you have a instance and uh, there we we have a, around 100 databases and they requested for 10 databases backup very quickly. So going to the script um, better to go with the our very good tool like uh, management maintenance plan wizard so under the management you can <coughs> see the maintenance plan wizard once you click the maintenance plan wizard it will once you click the next it will ask you the backup uh, the plan name okay so something like that you can give ad hoc ad hoc backup we are going to take the backup right and this is for one time i'm not going to schedule so once you click on the next so these are the option uh, which can take through this maintenance plan so in this scenario i'm going to take only full backup so click on full backup and click next so now it is asking you so what are the database you want to select either you go with all database system database or all user and only those specific request which you got right so you can select to only those databases which you got click on ok so log will write in this location click next so it will take the based on your database size in this case my database size is very small so click close <coughs> once you refresh the instance you will get a uh, under the maintenance uh, you can see uh, our maintenance plan is there ad hoc backup so what is doing basically how it's running so maintenance plan automatically creating the you know uh, a job in SQL Server agent. So you, once you click expand the SQL Server agent job, you can see the here jobs. So once you got the jobs, simply you go and start the job as steps one. Okay. So it will take based on the, your database size. So hopefully in my case it should complete very quickly because uh, I, the database size is very small. Let's say let's wait a couple of seconds. <coughs> So as you can see, uh, jobs completed, right? So now you can go and quickly verify the database uh, backup in your default backup setting. So right click on properties, go to database setting. This is your default backup setting, okay? So it will go there locally, it will. So if you can verify, as you can see here, we got the backup of these two databases, right? Master and Adventure. So from here you can share the backup to the uh, developer so this is the quickest way to take the ad hoc backup this is uh, not for uh, this is for uh, uh, easy tasks uh, when you, you do any performance any activity on a database and before that uh, just for the precaution so you can take the backup through the management studio all the databases right but uh, make sure if size is too large you should have the space you otherwise backup maintenance job will fail so that's it for today it's a small tips but it's very useful you can uh, you can try and test well we will meet soon thank you till then bye bye take care